This is Rockport Ryan with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, this week, we've been having some great fishing this past week. Uh, this next weekend is looking kind of windy. Hope everybody survived the uh, crazy weather that we had uh, Tuesday night. But uh, that kind of threw a wrench in some stuff for this weekend. We're looking at some decent winds. Hopefully the uh, weatherman will be lying to us and be wrong. Where we've been hitting lately has been coming out at Port Bay Road, uh, heading around the outside of this island that's right here. Out there going with some topwaters and working all the way back towards the little cut-in lake, uh, throwing topwaters. We have been nailing some reds. Uh, they are out there and they are thick. So definitely, you know, coming out here to the, uh, once you go from the launch spot to the left, has been doing pretty good. If you go into, there's a little bitty lake back in there. If you go back in there, we were actually finding some up in there. Then as you drift across this deeper water, switch to your paddle tails. Uh, if you want, you can even troll some of the paddle tails. As uh, one of my clients happened to have their um, line just in the water as they were paddling across and wound up picking up a 16 inch trout. Once you get across that depth coming into this backside, definitely all the way back here in the very back, uh, again, top waters and redfish, that was the ticket. All right, we can come out here from the Palm Harbor uh, RV park, launch it from there, shooting straight across to the backside of uh, Tally and into Trailer Island. All these little back lakes that are back in here are holding some nice ones. Uh, we have been... Occasionally, you got to watch out for an airboat cutting through there, but most of the other boat traffic, the only thing else that I see in there is an occasional polling skiff, but those little lakes back in there are holding some nice reds. That's been on uh, top water. Uh, as you come across, coming into these back, when you get near that those cuts, that's where we've been looking for some of the trout, and on the outside, uh, casting out towards that deeper water is where we've been picking up some of the trout. That's all been on uh, paddle tails and on like your unfair shrimp and your uh, Z-Man trout tricks have been running really well in that deeper water. Uh, when you come back in this cut, we were able to pick up some more trout coming around back into here, finish out with some reds. And then if we've got that light breeze, just let it blow you on back to the launch. Coming out here from Sunray Road, uh, parking down there at the end and launching across. As you're in this deep water, there are still some black drum that are around there. So if you do choose to throw bait, uh, you can actually pick up some nice black drum down in there. Definitely working around these islands up here on these flats and everything. Again, when we've got that, when that wind drops down, it has been top water time. This is the fun time. Had some clients uh, down from Missouri, never saltwater fish before, got his first red on top water, and his excitement at that blow up was why we do what we do. Another spot that's been producing pretty well has been out here on like around Wilson's Cut, coming around these islands, back on this flat, around that island, anywhere up on these flats. Again, it's sounding repetitive, but this is the time. It is top water reds. Uh, Spook Juniors, uh, Bone and Chrome is mostly what we've been throwing and everything. Uh, had some clients that were throwing skitter walks. It's not really mattering what top water it is. Just make that cadence stay consistent. And remember, if we do have the wind coming up, although it is harder to cast into the wind, that retrieve going with the wind and with the current is a more natural presentation and your fish do notice the difference. This is Rockport Ryan. Thank you for watching.